punch grip to first of all reset your guard. You, can, you can't just think about attacks all the time. He's gonna be attacking you as well. So if you see that you're losing the Dylan Hill, you just gotta think which guard retention is gonna be the best uh, to use, right? Last week we did a different one from the leg drag. So today again, just a quick review from the from that one. He's breaking my grip, <coughs> he's mashing my hooks here. Again, he start moving. I don't have control with the other hands as he's sliding it through. I'm gonna do a punch grip. And it's very important to use four fingers inside, okay? Uh, thumb pointing down. If you grab a little bit lower, the lapel, you see that lapel is loose, then he's gonna have weight enough to uh, get to my head and pass my guard. So it's very important to be very high here, okay? So you use your knuckles right uh, into his neck, okay? So now I'm gonna get leverage, try to get close my hand space to work. And then as I'm pulling him again, I'm gonna set up the, the La Riva with angle, okay? So from here, what's gonna be the next step? This grip here that I switch, I had the, the knuckles in, now it's gonna be with the opposite hand. I'm gonna also reach for this lead here, okay? So notice that I'm a little bit on the side, and that's what you want to get a good uh, torque on his knee. So next thing will be pulling, okay? So you're gonna use the sleeve, the collar, and also the hook here to pull him into you, okay? Just one of those are not enough. You gotta use all three together. <coughs> so you pull him towards you, now, as I bend my leg, I'm gonna, gonna extend right after, okay? So I'm gonna lift him off the ground. And then this hook here, it's gonna stay the same, okay? Uh, the one that's gonna do the most job here is gonna be the, the one that's on the hip. So rotate a little bit, Mike. So if you're here, as I bring him here, like this hook that's on the hip, the hip here, I'm gonna kick this one away so I can get the angle of the arm more, okay? So, the one that is hooking the De La Riva comes off too, but the one that does the most important job is the one on the hip, right? So you pull, as you lift him off the ground, you kick this one away, and you swing both legs over. From here, you finish with the arm bar. Okay, sometimes he falls too. If he falls even better, you have a better control. So just the De La Riva attack again. So if you're here, you got a little bit of angle to the side, a better torque on his knee, now, I'm gonna pull him towards me, lift it off, now kick, swing both of my legs, okay? And then after you swing both of your legs, you can switch both hands to the wrist, and finish. Okay, so the whole thing, he's attacking my guard, breaking my grips, sliding the knee, now both of the hands are pointless, right? So you just gotta switch to the guard retention one. Just knuckles in, get your space, pull him again, Look, I'm already setting up to the side. I'm gonna reach for this lead, collar, lift. Finish with the arm bar. Any questions? Let's try it. One, two, three.